Hi, you guys. Today's video is about Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney's breakup and why it happened. And uh, so I'm going to take you through first my speculation of what I think, and then I'm going to play you my evidence from Katie Maloney herself. And then I'm going to see what you guys think at the end of this video. I hope you guys are good, by the way. I feel like this week I'm going to drop a lot of tea, just feeling that way. All right, let's Katie get it. Katie Maloney and Tom Schwartz met on the set of Vanderpump Rules. Katie was like an actress before she went on Vanderpump Rules. Not like anything major, but... And they ended up being together for 12 years, and they were married for five of the 12 years. So it's a really long time. What is interesting about the divorce that was announced on March 15, 2022 by via Instagram, which was interesting that they didn't do it on Vanderpump Rules. Um, I think, by the way, uh, it was because uh, an article leaked and Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney were forced to tell everyone they weren't going to tell anyone yet, which maybe they were going to hold it for the show or whatever, but they... They had to because it was going to come out and they didn't want it to impact their families. Um, so they did go to Instagram and announce it. And it was Katie Maloney's decision to break up the marriage. Now, even though they're reporting that they don't live together, Katie Maloney and Tom Schwartz still live together in their $1.9 million house. But they are selling it because they can't afford it as individuals, only together. It occurred to me that... Something I feel when I'm watching Vanderpump Rules uh, about the relationship between Katie Maloney and Tom Schwartz is that Katie Maloney desperately wants Tom Schwartz to sort of grow up. Like uh, Katie Maloney is acting very mature in the show and it's almost like she's mothering Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval is sort of part of that mothering. And so that really resonated with me because I think there's a lot of women that they meet a guy when they're young and they don't care that they're like crazy and stupid and whatever, but then when they get older, it gets really old. Especially when you bring in finances because Tom Schwartz is taking mega risks outside of Vanderpump Rules with the money he's making on the show. And those risks are directly going to impact Katie Maloney and she has worked, I would imagine, very, very hard to save up the money that she's saved up and also the investment she's put it in and she doesn't wanna see that money go. So I'm not saying this was a money situation as much as a lack of control of necessarily the things that made Tom Schwartz happy and to, to allow them or to, do, to let him do them, she had to put herself at risk financially. And I just think that the, that was scary for her at this point in her life. And I think she wanted to start having children and having a more normal grown-up existence. And Tom Schwartz running a restaurant slash bar in the kind of scene. And so... Having a family with that lifestyle is also very challenging because it's late nights, it's girls hurling themselves at Tom Schwartz and guys. And I think, you know, it's a lot to bear. Um, and with the uncertainty of Vanderpump Rules going forward, which has been sort of every year, it's been uncertain and the cast has admitted that. Um, I think it really makes her feel like nervous and I think she's starting to go you know what you know Katie is entrepreneurial she's worked for her family's restaurant she's you know really really I don't know I just think she found it a little bit risky I also think that she spent most of her years supporting Tom Schwartz and not having Tom do a lot of that in return in her endeavors wonder Tom Schwartz is still wearing his wedding band because I th and, and probably, you know, really still wants to keep Katie close to him because the truth is, I think he relied on her like, like uh, you know, a lot. And I think Katie Maloney got tired. And I know a lot of the fans believe that Katie Maloney demasculinized uh, Tom and, you know, um, they, they said that, you know, he's uh, was she was overbearing and over controlling and stuff. But I mean, 
I think that was her struggling with trying to like have him grow up a little and also like stand up for himself, like stop being such a, like take a position. It's time to take a position and have a backbone and say something really strong. And I feel like she struggled with that too. I would. So anyway, interested in seeing what you think now on also, that. Also, I question Tom Schwartz being that into Katie Maloney from a sexual perspective because, I mean, Andy Cohen endlessly flirts with Tom Schwartz on his show, which was weird to me because I don't, I haven't really known Andy Cohen to like flirt with people like that on his show. I thought that was strange. And I also felt like, you know, his relationship with Tom Sandoval was really unusual as well. Um, it's very childlike and or it's almost like a partner. And so I don't know, like it was strange. I, I mean, a, a partner, not in the sense of a business partner. Um, it was it was like, I don't know. I really don't know. I was like, is Tom into Katie? Now, maybe every couple after 12 years or whatever isn't that into each other, but that's important. Okay, so let me play you the part of Katie's uh, podcast. I'm gonna play you two parts and I'm gonna comment in the middle. Okay. You know, there wasn't some kind of crazy incident that happened. There wasn't some crazy fight that resulted in this. <sighs> Again, it, it was my decision, um, which was probably the hardest and most painful decision I've ever had to make. But the best and only way I can describe it is just like waking up inside of my life and having this voice that just became louder and louder. And um, just events, in my life and in our relationship coming into focus and feeling the weight of them on me. And just wanting, I wanted to deny them. I wanted to push them out of my head because, because you know, I, I love Tom and we, you know, have built a life together and he was my person and I wanted to be with him forever, but Ultimately, I just wasn't happy. So I, for a long time, I sat with it and I thought about it and I didn't talk to anyone about it for a long time because I wanted to, I wanted to know if it was just maybe something else that was making me feel this way, if it was just some, you know, coming from a different place. And, um, but it just didn't stop. It just became more clear. And I could not, I could just, could no longer deny it. And that was the hardest thing to accept. You know, I had the hardest thing to accept. You know, I had really prioritized Tom and our relationship and our future and wanted to plan for that so badly, but I didn't often prioritize myself or my happiness. Bingo. And that was really what was weighing on me. And that's when I realized, you know, just that even though we did have so much fun, we, there were so many happy moments, even, you know, day to day, I love being with him, but ultimately I was just not, fulfilled and just you know and there's there's other things that maybe one day I can you know talk about but I don't really want to get into all of that at the moment but I just realized that the that the choice I had to just to open up and tell him how I was feeling and it's just so difficult because I know of course I'm thinking about him and everything that he has going on in his life with his family and with this bar that he's opening and he's under a huge amount of stress and here I am. Hasn't opened home, yet. But, you know, I, I realized that I had to really just start prioritizing myself and my happiness as well. 
it just needed to happen. God, it's so good to be free. That's just what everything inside of me was saying. I, I got to a point <laughs> where I just felt like I was going to burst. For months, it was building up. I felt just disconnected. I felt like I was drifted away, further and further away. I felt like I was drifting. And I couldn't stop it. And it was just... It was the hardest, hardest thing to do. So later she goes on to admit that the Kim Kardashian post she made resonated with her and that is why she posted it. And she thought it would go under the radar, but in fact it didn't as we all were discussing it on Instagram and everything. Everyone was saying it's a sign that, you know, finally uh, Katie and Tom were gonna split because remember there's been divorce rumors since one year after their marriage like it's not like it hasn't been like the last 11 years divorce rumors flying around it's crazy i know but like so when she posted that everyone thought for sure it was her like kind of a cry for help in regards to wanting to get out of the marriage now she admits that she didn't intend it that way right but that it definitely resonated with her so in a way it's like how do you say you want to leave your husband without saying you want to leave your husband you know? Now, Katie Maloney hasn't been that upset because she was at uh, Ocean's birthday party, you know, the other day, and they've been separated for a month now. Um, by the way, Lala Kent did a cute little mermaid party uh, for Ocean. And um, yeah, so Katie was hanging out there having fun. And so I think she's okay. Um, well, I know she's okay, but um, there are still amicable. Uh, you know, they're supposedly getting along great. I hope that continues, obviously, when you start to date other people and, you know, your friends start to take sides and money comes into the picture, that can go pitong pretty quickly. So let's hope that doesn't happen uh, with them. Tom seems like a nice enough guy. Uh, he'll probably just kind of go with whatever. Um, Sandoval, of course, has been uh, there for his man, helping him all along well, and another breakup on Vanderpump Rules. It's just, is there anyone left? No, I don't think there is. Oh yes, um, Sheena and Brock. Although rumors are flying around that he is, has a wandering eye, we'll just say that. I don't know if it's more than that, but there are definitely wandering eye rumors floating around on um, mischievous sites like Reddit, we'll just, Leave it there. Um, what was I gonna say? Hmm. Was there anything else? Ocean's birthday. Oh, there was a rumor going around that Lala Kent is getting a spinoff show, but I've reason to believe that the rumor is false, and unfortunately, because I bet it would be a damn good show. So Bravo, maybe you should revisit that. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. What do I have to do? Or before we go, I promise to. And it was just, <laughs> it was the hardest, hardest thing to do. The hardest thing to tell him. Because I knew I was going to crush him.